Whenever we talk about the AI revolution, names like NVIDIA and Palantir dominate the conversation. But what if I told you that behind every groundbreaking AI innovation, from ChatGPT to large language models to self-driving cars, there's one company that holds a complete monopoly on the machines making it all possible. What if I told you that this single company is the gatekeeper to the future of technology? It controls billion dollar machines that manufacture the tiny chips inside every AI brain on the planet. This company makes the only equipment that can build the most advanced chips that are powering this AI revolution. And that company is ASML. It's the only company on earth with the technology to build the most advanced chip making machines. Without ASML, there's no AI chips, no data centers, no chat GPTs, no large language models, nothing. And the best part, ASML has virtually no competition. It is a true monopoly in the tech world. It might be one of your safest bets in AI investing. So today I'm breaking down why ASML is the secret backbone of AI why it is massively underappreciated compared to other AI names and whether this might be the right time to buy ASML. If you're liking this video so far, please smash that like button and subscribe for more data-driven, insightful investing videos. Before we begin, please note, this is not financial advice. Please do your own research before investing. So let's talk about ASML's business model. So they build machines, extreme ultraviolet lithography machines, short form EUV. What these machines do is that they use incredibly short wavelength to etch tiny circuits on a silicon wafer. These EUV machines, they enable the ever more powerful chips we use in AI, in, in data centers, you name it. And they're the only company in the world that are producing this technology. And that's why they are a near monopoly in advanced chip making. These EUV machines, every single one of them costs north of 150 million. And then they are sold to giants like Samsung, like Intel, like uh, Taiwan Semiconductor. Once the machines are sold, they require regular servicing, upkeep, upgrades. Um, they need software updates. And ASML's business model is then Think about razor and razor blades. They sell the machines and then they sell the services, the spare parts, um, you know, the regular upgrades. So that has ensured that it has a fantastic business of selling the machines, but also a recurring business of maintaining these machines and the systems. And ASML controls more than 90% of the lithography market. It's the only company in the world currently making these machines. So with that, let's talk about the numbers. In quarter two of 2025, ASML posted about 7.7 .7 billion euros in net sales. They are a Dutch company, and so they post their numbers in, in, in euros. 7.7 .7 billion euros is right at the top end of their guidance. Gross margins was about 53.7%, which also exceeded the expectations. And the net income was a robust 2.3 billion euros. They logged about 5.5 billion in new bookings, with about 2.3 billion coming from EUV systems. And they kicked off the quarter with an order backlog of about 33 billion. Now that gives a phenomenal revenue visibility into the future. Looking ahead, Q2 guidance calls for about 7.4 to 7.9 billion euros in sales and about a 50 to 52 percent gross margin. With a full year of 2025, ASML expects about 15% sales growth and a 52% gross margin. Now, let's talk about the risks a bit. No company is bulletproof. For, for ASML, the biggest risks come not from competition, but more from politics. Export restrictions mean that they cannot sell their most advanced EUV machines, which generate the most profits for them, to China. In Q2, China accounted for almost 27% of their revenues. And mainly, these were legacy deep 
ultraviolet DUV systems, right? Because there's export restrictions on the EUV equipment. And EUV is where ASML makes the most money and most margins. One of the core reasons ASML can churn out these machines at a scale is because of their capacity to handle supply chain. They have hundreds of suppliers and a number of them are based in Asia. Any supplier concerns, you know, be it politically motivated or not, could slow down ASML's ability to ship machines to its customers. Moreover, trade disputes, especially between the US and Europe, could increase costs and delay investments by their customers. Then there's the cyclical nature of the semiconductor industry. When demand slows, chip makers pause spending and that would affect ASML's revenues. But let's be clear, these risks don't erase ASML's moat. They can only create short-term volatility in what is otherwise a monopoly business. And the opportunities are massive. I mean, the AI boom is ensuring that every chip maker needs ASML's machines. Without them, there's literally no AI. New launches like their high NA EUV systems are already in development. If you know what a high NA EUV system is, please mention it in the comment below. These systems will help them make chips that are even more faster and smaller. And on top of that, there's government incentives in US and Europe to localize semiconductor production. So more fabs means more ASML machines are needed. Here's what sets ASML apart and why I think it is underappreciated even by tech investors. Unlike Nvidia, AMD or Palantir, ASML cannot be disrupted. Well, at least it'll take a few decades for it to be disrupted. Intel used to be the chip maker of choice about a decade and a half ago. AMD's chips were not worth it and the CPU market was dominated by Intel. 10 years down the line, AMD has flipped the script. Moreover, it's not the CPUs. Now is the time of GPUs and Nvidia, which was once a supplier to Intel, is now untouchable so far as GPUs are concerned. But again, for Nvidia, AMD is also catching up and eventually the GPU race will get tougher with margins getting slimmer because there's competition. Think about Palantir for a second. If another data analytics platform emerges, then Palantir's position could be challenged as well. But ASML, there's no rival anywhere close. The second best competitor is decades behind. The complexity, the supply chain, the customer trust, these are impossible to replicate overnight. Now, let's give a certain perspective to the valuation. ASML has a market cap of about $293 billion and an enterprise value of $289 billion, which suggests that the company has more cash than debt. For a mature company like ASML, I like to look at EV to EBIT right, as it includes depreciation and amortization, which accounts for significant capital investments and technological obsolescence that are material in this business. ASML as a high-tech equipment supplier has large ongoing capex and meaningful depreciation. So EBIT reflects the true recurring operational profitability better than EBITDA. Current EV to EBIT sits at about 22.5, which is the lowest it has been in the past five years. Now, this is a reasonable multiple considering ASML's moat. Also, their revenues are on track to grow at about 15% this year per consensus estimates. Over the last quarter, ASML reported net bookings of about 5.5 billion euros, as we discussed earlier, and a record of 33 billion euros in backlog. 12 to 18 months of lead times for most of its products. Today's order should actually reflect customer confidence well into 2026, boding well for the future revenue growth. Analysts have an FI26 price target ranging from about 767 to a high of $1,100, with an average target of about $915, which reflects about a 21% upside from current prices. That would easily beat the S&P. However, if the AI boom continues, prices could go much higher. And we'll look into that in the technical sector. But before we do that, I wanted to bring something to your attention. This might shock you, but Palantir, one of the hottest AI names right now, it generates about 33 cents in earning per share as per the latest trading 12 months. Yet it has a market cap 
30% higher than ASML. Let that sink in. Palantir generates 33 cents in EPS, has a market cap 30% higher than ASML. ASML generates $24 in EPS for the trailing 12 months. That's nearly 70 times Palantir's earnings per share. ASML trades lower, even though it's effectively irreplaceable. Now, looking at the technical uh, chart of ASML, I'm looking at the weekly, long-term weekly chart. It seems to have broken this weekly downtrend and has made a higher high, potentially continuing with this uptrend on a monthly chart. Now, if this trend continues, it can easily get to the average analyst price target of about 915 next year and potentially much higher after that. With these channels, usually it's a good idea to buy near the bottom of the channel. So in conclusion, ASML is quietly powering the future. Its machines are the backbone of every advanced AI chip. With unrivaled tech, high margins, and exposure to explosive global trends, it's hard to overstate its strategic importance. If you're fascinated by the AI boom and looking for a steady, highly motivated growth stock, look no further than ASML. If you've enjoyed this deep dive, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more insightful videos like these. I've also covered the trade desk in my recent videos. I'll uh, put a link in the description below and on the right here. Please click on it to understand my perspective on the trade desk. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay data driven.